Shalom, everyone. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray uh, that um, we um, may uh, enjoy abundant blessings of God as we uh, join this uh, Bible uh, study. All right, uh, let me uh, give uh, some guidance uh, about chapter 4 in the book of uh, 1st Corinthians. This uh, chapter is a uh, conclusion about the uh, matter of uh, Corinth Church's problem, a uh, division. I told uh, you uh, yesterday that uh, church members um, were not in mind. They were divided uh, into several uh, groups uh, and each they uh, were opposed uh, to one uh, another. Let me read uh, verse uh, 1. So then men ought to regard us as uh, servants of Christ uh, and as uh, those uh, entrusted with the secret things of God. Regard us. Uh, us uh, we mean uh, Paul and Apollos. Uh, church uh, leaders, uh, pastors, uh, are servants of Christ. Uh, they are not the owner or Lord of uh, church, servant of Christ. And uh, Apostle Paul tells uh, of uh, his uh, position before Christ uh, as those are uh, entrusted with the secret things of God. Uh, and at the same time, they are authorized uh, people by God uh, who preach the secret things of God, or I mean the gospel. And uh, verse 2, so workers of Christ uh, should be uh, faithful. And uh, here, um, some members in Corinth uh, church, uh, it looks uh, that uh, they uh, criticized uh, Paul or uh, slander uh, him. They tried uh, to uh, judge uh, him. And uh, Paul defended uh, himself. Uh, verse uh, 3, uh, 4, he said, um, I care, very, I care very little if I'm judged by you or by any human court. Indeed, I do not even judge myself. My conscience is clear, but that does not make me innocent. It is the Lord who judges me. Though some people in Corinth the church slandered him or speak of something things uh, negative uh, regarding Paul, but uh, Paul said uh, he didn't find uh, such a fault uh, in him. Yeah. But he said, uh, uh, verse uh, 4, but that does not make me innocent. Uh, he was a really, really humble uh, person. And uh, verse uh, 7, For who makes you different from anyone else? Uh, what do you have that you did not receive? Uh, and if you did uh, receive it, why do you boast uh, as though you did not? Uh? Some members in uh, Corinth, um, they uh, uh, were uh, so arrogant. Uh, they spoke uh, in arrogant uh, manner and uh, Paul gave uh, advice you've uh, received uh, you've uh, uh, your you know, talents uh, and, uh, teaching and gospel you all received it 
And but why you uh, think uh, you are special compared with the other people, uh, or you say in that way, arrogant uh, way? Paul uh, gave uh, advice uh, to them. And uh, Paul um, compare himself uh, to those uh, who spoke uh, in arrogant um, manner. Verse uh, 8. Uh, Already you have all you want. Uh, already you have uh, become rich. You have uh, become kings. Uh, and that without us, how I wish that you really had become kings so that we might be kings with you. For it seems uh, to me, verse 9, for it seems to me that God has put us apostles on display at the end of the procession, like men condemned to die in the arena. We have been made a spectacle to the whole universe, uh, to angels as well as to men. Paul um, is, was uh, saying his uh, uh, efforts uh, and also his uh, service uh, for the uh, gospel. Paul was uh, showing his uh, uh, love for Jesus, uh, not through uh, words only, but through uh, acts. Uh, unlike uh, some people in Corinth uh, who slandered uh, him. Verse uh, 10 and 11, We are fools for Christ, uh, but you are so wise in Christ. Uh, we are weak, uh, but you are strong. You are honored, we are dishonored. To this very hour, we go hungry and thirsty. We are in the wrecks. We are brutally treated. We are homeless. We work hard with our own hands. When we are cursed, we bless. When we are persecuted, we endure it. Paul uh, is uh, teaching uh, true um, uh, steward. Uh, Ship in Christ to them in speaking in that way. And verse um, 14 and 15, I'm not writing this to shame you, but to warn you as my dear children. Even though you have 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers, for in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. Paul uh, was founder founder of uh, Corinth Church, yeah? and uh, he uh, expressed uh, how much uh, he loves uh, this uh, church. Paul uh, seriously gave uh, advice to uh, them. It's not because uh, he would um, condemn them or he uh, have uh, hatred uh, about them, but. Uh, in love, uh, he uh, did it uh, so that uh, some people might repent of their sins uh, and uh, turn to um, uh, good um, manner of uh, Jesus' uh, disciples. Uh. Verse uh, 16, Therefore I urge you to imitate me. How many Christian leaders uh, can say uh, this? Uh, it is a uh, really uh, impressive uh, expression. <laughs> Therefore, I urge you to imitate me. Yeah. Paul was uh, really uh, doing his best uh, to uh, follow the words of God for the life uh, which is uh, pleasing to uh, God only. And um, he said to uh, Corinth uh, church uh, members, uh, See my actions in Christ, see my lifestyle in Christ, and follow it. Yeah. Alright, and uh, verse uh, 18, some of you have uh, become arrogant uh, as if uh, I were not coming to uh, you. At this time, it was very hard uh, to travel to a uh, place in distance. Uh, yeah. Now Paul uh, said, uh, you say uh, 
as if uh, I were not coming to you, uh, but um, I would uh, come to uh, you uh, if the Lord uh, willing. Verse uh, 19. Verse uh, 20, uh, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, uh, but of uh, power. What do you prefer? Should I come to you with a whip or in love and with a gentle spirit? Uh, all right. Um, the power of a uh, Christian does not lie in words. Uh. Some people may have a uh, good uh, teaching, but um, if we did not live uh, by the words of God, um, it is uh, almost uh, useless. Uh. We study the words of God. Uh, why? Do we study? First, uh, we would know the words of God to have a fellowship with the Lord. And um, we uh, have um, Bible reading, Bible writing, and quiet time, Bible memorization. We listen to a sermon of uh, pastors. Uh, why? Because uh, we need to apply it into our life. For example, um, there's a very um, uh, good uh, food uh, with a uh, high nutrition, but uh, unless we eat it, uh, it is uh, nothing, right? Yeah. Now, practice uh, is uh, important. Uh, lifestyle, which uh, reflect uh, Christ, uh, the words of God, is uh, important. That's why I always encourage you to have a quiet time because uh, quiet time focus uh, on action, practicing, applying the words of God into our life. In, um, in chapter 4, once again I would um, uh, point uh, to uh, the theme, preventing division. Yeah. In our church, yeah, Light of Life Church, yeah, and also um, um, ANMC or Nation Mission Church, yeah, we have to be uh, careful that uh, we may not be uh, divided. Um, uh, we uh, should become one in Christ. Uh, let us apply the lesson into our church. Yeah. Alright, it is for today. May God bless you. See you next time.